What's going on, fragrance lovers? Um, I'm back with another review. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and give a huge, massive, friggin' oh my god, congratulatory shout to my boys. But you guys didn't come here for that, and I understand. Anyway, my review. Honest to God, people, you're not even going to believe how good that is. But let's not mess around. Let's do it. Fragrant journey begins now. Let's go. All right, people, back again. Um, what you're looking at right now is another home run smacked out of the park by me and Sarah. Um, and, you know, I, I, think, uh, I think that I'm starting to, to really get a good grasp on this whole fragrance thing. And I'm talking about specifically, you know, where um, looking at notes and stuff like that are concerned. Because this is completely blind right here. No friggin' idea what it smelled like. Um, but I looked at the notes and it was like, you know what, this looks like something that I'm really gonna enjoy. And, uh, you know, sure as shit, there you go. Absolute masterpiece right here. This fragrance review literally could be over in less than a minute. I'm gonna explain that to you in a second. But first, the notes. Stand by. All right, and uh, you guys are gonna have to excuse my voice because I I got kind of a frog in my throat and uh, I didn't get much sleep last night, which is why I'm taking the day off. All right, but anyway, re the review. Um, I'm gonna give you the notes and here they are. We have top notes of Mandarin, Pink Pepper, Black Currant, Angelica, done. The hot notes are gonna consist of rose, jasmine, neroli, and tuberose. And then it's gonna floor out with vanilla, white musk, done. This is velvet vanilla. Holy sweet mother of God. As you know, I am a fanboy of this house. Um, a huge fanboy. But this is what happens when I spray it on my skin. Like I said a minute ago, this review could be over in less than a minute. I'm going to tell you exactly what this smells like. Now, as you may or may not know, I do not layer fragrances, period. I don't like to do it. I think it's a huge waste of time, especially if I'm going to bring fragrance with me. I don't want to lug two bottles around. And if I don't, you know, if the fragrance can't do what it's supposed to do on its own, then it's not going to be in my collection. All right, so I do not layer fragrances. However, if you do, if you like to layer fragrances and you like the smell of two specific fragrances that I think are masterpieces in their own right, then this is the fragrance for you. And it literally goes like this. This friggin' fragrance smells exactly like you took Guerlain's Angelique Noir and by Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and had them mate with each other and there's your offspring. This is the offspring of Angelique Noir and love, don't be shy. And, and that's it. I mean, I can, I can end it right now, but I'll give you a little bit more insight because there's really not a lot I can say about this except it is, the, it is literally one of the best smelling fragrances I have ever gotten my nose on. Um, this, oh, wow. Anyway, you cannot get this in the United States, which I know sounds kind of ironic since I'm looking at it right now when I'm in the United States. However, uh, you got to know somebody who can get their hands on it, and I do. All right, I'm going to link his information below, all right? Um, but I think it's the only guy you can get this from for now. But anyway, 
really quickly. Uh, it opens up ridiculous Angelica flower. I mean, it's ridiculous, and it is strong. Now, before, oh, let me, let me backtrack for a second, all right? I have literally sampled dozens and dozens and dozens of notes on my skin, and the only two so far that do not work for me are iris and tuberose. Those are the only two notes that I literally cannot stand in large doses. If they're in tiny doses, I can deal with them. Tuberose is in this fragrance, but it doesn't matter. It is literally smothered by all the notes therein. So again, I know I went off, off track, but I'm going to come back. I spray it on my skin, opens up ridiculously strong Angelica flower. About 20 minutes after that, you start to get oranges and pears and black. And basically, it is a fruity, uh, very slightly spicy fragrance when it opens up. All right. Um, about an hour, 45 minutes, um, about, about 45 minutes to an hour into this fragrance, um, then you're going to get a lot of rose, um, and a lot of jasmine. So it is, it is definitely a, f um, a, f a fruity floral, basically. That's basically what you're going to get. A fruity floral that's, um, sweet. I mean, there's really not a hell of a lot more I can say about it, except it is, I mean, just, my God, the smell of this is literally out of this world. And again, this is just like Angelique Noir, Love Don't Be Shy, combined together, kicked up five notches. Okay, this is really projecting like a bastard right now. It is literally like blowing the socks off my feet. And it's filling the room with, with aroma. And you don't have to spray a lot. You do not have to spray a lot. And again, because obviously it's it's Montal Mancera, you know, same DNA. These guys, they know how to make some beastly ass fragrances. This is no exception. Whether or not it's feminine, you're asking the wrong person. Couldn't care less. The only thing that matters to me is whether or not it smells good. Anyway, fruity floral um, with some sweetness very um, very light musk at the end of it and that's all you're left with the notes uh they like a lot of the fragrances from this house um you're gonna get the top notes deep into this fragrance and they're just gonna you know the other ones are just gonna join in so it's gonna be like a symphony basically is what you got so it's not like the mandarin and the angelica are gonna kick in and then they go away no they fade a little bit the other ones join in and they're in complete harmony with one another. Easily, like top five Mansara fragrance right here. And it could even go up higher in the ranking. That's it, man. Quickie. That's all, that's all it takes. Again, if you missed it, Velvet Vanilla from the House of Mansara. Girl,